Squash XL Pro is an elite team that work hard to train, play and run squash events on our journey to climb the world rankings. Like, subscribe, comment, pick up some of our merch on Teespring. And welcome in, ladies and gentlemen to this the quarterfinal match here at the Little Land. Howard Cotham, you can see on the court. You can see on the court there we have John Ascot against Zach Miller. We've already had a couple of quarterfinals completed today. One but Chalisi winning the latest match. And, oh, into the tin there, first point, and out of the court. But as we just said, Luamba Chalisi winning in straight games. It was 11-9, 11-6, 11-6 over Elijah. Uh, Elijah Thomas, that is. And we'll go through the rest of the matches very shortly. Don't forget to message us uh, in. Have a little comment. And let us know who you think is going to win the matches. Certainly the weather around the country is meant to be completely rubbish, as it is in Auckland today. So a good opportunity to watch some good PSA Challenger squash. Oi. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't know where it came off the racket. Probably wasn't the middle of the strings, though. But uh, an effective point in the end. A good news for New Zealand earlier today. Paul Cole winning in straight sets. Over Victor Krunen. Oh, shooting. And going through into the third round of the World Champs in Chicago. And not yeah. too long ago, it One, was two. Joel King winning in uh, four games over Emily Whitelock. And also through to the third round of the World Champs in Chicago. So good news there for the two Kiwi players. Meanwhile, at the tournament here, a very nice club, the Howick Club. Really in Cockle Bay, I guess, more so than Howick itself. rally with both oh it's <laughs> about to say it's a nice rally with both players just moving each other around using the corner as well and then we get a bit of a shank there from Zach Miller and from Paul Ascot he's saying that in Brizzy it's sunny and 20 degrees yeah, unfortunately Paul around uh, New Zealand at the moment uh, well New Zealand's getting hammered by some pretty bad weather. Just in Auckland, it's just wet and about 17 degrees, so not so bad. It's wet. Three, two. But certainly an ideal opportunity to, for people to watch a bit of squash. Uh, whether it was the World Champs a little earlier in the day and now this afternoon and this evening, the PSA Challenger Tournament here at Howard. Of course, some very good women's matches coming up as well. Be great to see Amanda Landers Murphy on your screen. The gold medalist from 2018, the Gold Coast. Scott, very patient in this rally. Happy to bite his tire. Not up on that one. No, it wasn't. was a question on the ball there and I think uh, some discussion from our unofficial umpires. Oh, good shot. Yeah, that's it. Nicely finished in the end.
no real discussion from the players. And uh, just told that, uh, yep, the ball was good. Zach Miller, just a little bit of a question there. He played the ball pretty much too close to himself. It's going to be difficult for Joel Arscott to actually take a swing at the ball, forehand or backhand, without hitting Ooh, Miller. And in the end, that little, well, the little touch went begging. player's been able to gather more than a couple points in the lead. That's a good shot, though. Gisley. Oh, Gisley. It's a good shot, but... The good thing about that shot, even though it didn't come off, it was a let in the end, was that uh, John Lascott took the pace off the ball and gave nothing back. Let's and again both players happy to just take the time. Nice structured points so far. Let's uh, wait and see who's going to have a go at it. the courts are too slippery we've got the fans on and that's a subtle hint that it's incredibly cold right now in here uh, when the fans do go off it's nice and warm so we can uh, get anybody to come on down and we'll make sure the fans get turned off but yeah there's a lot of humidity in the Auckland region today as we said it's around about 17 degrees it's certainly quite wet uh, these are relatively new courts night nice touch there relatively new venue and courts so fairly good insulation. Not too humid inside. Certainly for Zach Miller, this has been quite a controlled effort. Hasn't really gone for a lot of the big shots which he normally would. And the stroke there. See the disappointment on the face. Of Zach Miller, but I think it's a really disappointment that he put himself in that situation. couple of points uh, buffer here for Zach Miller. 
really has been patient. It's been uh, great work. And quite a bit of depth here. We haven't seen too many drops just yet. So that's clever play by both players to keep each other at the back. <laughs> and just as soon as I mentioned clever play, we see that. <laughs> it's the curse. So nice there for Joel Oscott to come one back. And uh, yeah, just waiting to see any drop shots. They haven't really uh, come in this match. Oh, nice yeah. little boast there. And brings them back to eight. And, uh, Bit of credit from uh, <laughs> Zach as well. He acknowledges it. Six eight down now to nine eight for Joel Ascot. Puts himself in a good position. Certainly have to be very patient so far in this first game. This is his quarterfinal match. contest will take on Luamba Chalisi who defeated Elijah Thomas in straight games so that'll be a semi-final match 6.15 at this evening tune in for that one at the bottom part of the draw we still have Tilma Chalisi against uh, Wills Donnelly that will be one o'clock probably a bit after actually and there'll be Joseph White from Australia the second seed and Australian number one up against John Wigan at 1.45, the uh, completion of the men's semi-finals. So certainly some good quarter-finals to go and then some good semi-finals to go later on today. And uh, second stroke of this first game. Zach Miller not overly happy with that one. And you can hear the explanation that he was backing into Joel Ascott and Joel just keeping calm on that one. He now has come back a little bit there. So staying in the match is a great opportunity for Zach Miller. And in fact, yeah, you can just see the scores just adjusted there. Game point to Joel Ascott. And uh, nice to have Manaya Murphy Fell coming through. Thanks, Manaya. Supporting Zach Miller. And he's looking for a stroke on that one. The other time you weren't clear. This one he's trying to get out of the way. So you can uh, see that Zach Miller was looking for a stroke, gets a let instead. So still game ball to Joel Ascott. And the last couple of points just really haven't gone the way of Zach Miller. Stroke against him and now a let which he thought should be a stroke for him. Oh. Shot. <laughs> Great shot. Yeah, uh, what do you do with that and how do you coach that? I don't think you can. It tends to be one of those shots that comes out of Zach Miller's repertoire once or twice a set. Very annoying for any opponents, but certainly a great shot. And a little bit of a rash one, which uh, didn't really need it. So, so 
bit of blood to the head, or too much blood to the head. Got your justice there, uh, Manaya. We're getting uh, some good comments from you there, Manaya. Good to have you umpiring from afar. That would actually be quite good. We should have every umpire from afar come through. Every ref. Oh, we're trying to get out the way. He manages to get around. The rally slowed down. Ooh, what are we going to have? And uh, certainly disappointed there, Zach Miller. <laughs> the evil eye looking up there. back for the second game and we should let you know that it is one love already in the second game to Zach Miller because a, a conduct for Joel Ascot after his uh, throw in the or after the final point of the first game so there you go so some of you uh, questioning and asking well your answer and your question is come through Oh, there you go, he did have a point put against him. And that was after throwing his racket at the completion of the first game, which Zach Miller won 13-11. So that is there for some of you players watching, some of you people watching. A point conduct against Joel Ascot. Remembering that the winner of this match takes on Lawanda Chalisi later this afternoon in the semi finals. And keep on uh, coming through with uh, any thoughts, any opinions. Who should win? Uh, any lets, strokes? Next match come out. Oh, there we go. Next match coming up is uh, Tim Chalisi against Wills Donnelly. And now let's see if Zach Miller can keep it consistent. Took out the first, a bit of a battle there, and was given a freebie point as such to start the second after the stroke penalty. Oh, she. <laughs> well, great retrieving there from Zach Miller. And back in the rally again. So in the first game, these two started with some very slow and gradual points. Just really working their way in. And then it got a little bit frantic near the end. Let's see how that one's out. And now, two so both players just need to refocus. We had our little issues near the end with a couple of strokes. And they're going against, uh, against Miller. And then at the very end, it's ooh, chopping Please. under that one. Too much chop. And now, three, two. So we're probably going to build to that again as we get closer to a result. Slow and gradual, and then manic and all over the place. Just geeing himself up after that. He 
He's one of these players who seems to almost play better when he's behind on the scoreboard. Certainly not something you'd be wanting to coach into anybody. And uh, the stroke there, but no questions from Zach Miller. Knew we had played it back too close. I'm sure everybody out there agrees with that one. from Zach Miller about what the score was. A little bit difficult for the players to hear. Uh, good position for the referee. A nice bit of height. Problem is there's quite a noisy fan and that one's into the tin. Seven two. took the pace off and the angle was wow it was extreme so nicely played there from uh, Zach Miller yeah. and uh, tried to play it a bit too tight this time so despite having a point against him to start this second game Joel Lascott really coming through quite nicely in the end 8-3 Miller losing a little bit of consistency. Bit of a hit and miss in this the second game. And a second stroke going against Miller. Doesn't seem to care too much on that one. another stroke well it's right there. and he was just you can hear the explanation there you, know, you heard the explanation from the officials but also the protest <laughs> that's three in a row oh dear okay so that particular game 11-3 remembering that the first game was a 13-11 we're coming back in now for this, the third game, and uh, the comment from uh, Manaya Murphy Fowl, a tactical arrest set. <laughs> yeah, that, that is uh, very tactical. Wouldn't recommend it too often. Uh, Manaya, you ever done that? Uh, in the meantime, it is one game apiece, of course. The first game, 13-11 to Zach Miller. The uh, second was 11-3 to uh, Joel Ascot. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, you might have seen in between. There was about uh, three young men out there uh, yeah. just really wiping the courts of uh, perspiration uh, the typical Auckland humidity in July and certainly it is wet outside but the walls are just getting a little bit humid and uh, in the meantime the players getting stuck into the second game already so yeah, keep up all your comments, tell everybody else to uh, watch out and uh, look for the matches because we certainly will have some good contests later on today. Also 145, Amanda Landers Murphy and she'll take on uh, Diana Galloway. It'll be the uh, women's quarter final. Already through to the semi-final is Ella Lash. Be playing her semi final from 5 30. A couple of the other women's matches, as I said, Abby Palmer ranked still 117 in the world up against Abby Holmes. Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice play there from uh, Joe Lascott, controlling the point very well. Abby Holmes uh, just did very well in the North Island Junior Champs. Uh, I think, uh, did quite a good result in that one in her hometown of New Plymouth. But in the meantime, she's up on the second court 
against uh, Abby Palmer. So plenty of good squash around. And don't forget the uh, finals tomorrow afternoon. Just to let you know on that, the women's final is 1.15 and the men's final basically following that at 2 p.m. Should be some good uh, contests, but certainly really great that we'll be seeing Amanda Landers Murphy back on the court again. Gold medalist with with uh, Joelle King, that is, and uh, the women's doubles at the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast a couple of years ago. Oh, look at that ball. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you call that, but it just didn't bounce. anybody has any thoughts on uh, that particular rally <laughs> and that particular shot in there let us know because <laughs> I think Joel was trying to figure out what just happened and uh, thanks Brian uh, apparently Zach Joel is tired so you'll be able to rip through this uh, particular set oh nice where's it gonna go I think it was in two minds as to where he's gonna go there had so many options that's high and out Thanks for coming through, Scott Galloway. All sorts of people. Uh, I hope you're keeping warm and uh, not getting blown away, Scott Galloway, in the capital. Uh, feel free to let us know how to describe some of Zach Miller's shots at times. That one's out. There's certainly a good atmosphere here at the Howick Squash Club in Cockle Bay. There's uh, several divisions being played. Loving that angle at the moment. Yeah, nice pick up there from Joel. Still in a good position on the court. A little bit of a fist pump and a knob of a head there from Zach Miller. Good bit of attitude coming through. That's what we want to see, isn't it, guys? toes Zach Miller really controlling the ball off his strings very well in this rally let's see about his patience we are at one game apiece we did have a code violation oh So that's Lawamba Chalisi as the scorer. Yeah, we've got Heather and uh, Lawamba Chalisi on the boards for this match. Oh, I don't think you can get away with that one, Zach. Nice, nice play. And that's the difficult thing about playing Zach Miller. He loves that cross court. Wow, backhand. Let's see if he can actually do it down the line one time. And 
Again, as this is pretty much what happened in the first game as well. Tight and slow to build. And then it got really tight. And the decisions, well, there we go. Zach Miller adjusting his top knot. And uh, going out to a nice lead. In the first, it was 8 6 to Miller before Joel Lascott came back, and then it was Miller again. Ooh, yeah, nice play. Not too many options there for Zach Miller, as he really had to get close. I had to go straight back. What's the call? One back for General Ascot. Let's see what's that Magdalene is going to do here. Playing down the black hand wall a lot. That's a good play. And well done, Joel Ascot. That was good. Took all the pace off and gave it no bounce at all. So a couple of points back for Joel Ascot. To stay in this match. Shooting. Oh. Any thoughts on that decision, folks? And you can hear the explanation there from uh, the one but Chalisi. So we are actually seven nine. And Joel wasn't going to be happy about that, that he was close. Uh, it is now game ball. A little bit of uh, smart movement there using his body was uh, Zach Miller. And he was playing the line close. And gonna, he's going to question. I'm sure all the viewers out there are uh, having their own opinions on this. And the players, well, I think they're thinking that it's going either way at the moment, so. <laughs> Zach Miller just checking on the score. <laughs> He's got a game ball still. <laughs> Several of them, in fact. squash in this rally. That's it got it. Oh well nice dramatic dive. Survived it as well. He gets up in one piece. Uh, let's just see. Oh yeah. Yeah court's wet as uh, we're just gonna find a squeegee and uh, give it a bit of a sweep down. Now that just shows you either the, the sweat <laughs> or the humidity in there, probably a bit of both from Zach Miller. And uh, he's just pretty much saying, well, Joel, you can do it. You're, you're younger. Uh, but that was actually one of the better rallies of uh, this, the 
third game, remembering that Zach Miller won the first 13-11. It was Joel Ascot winning the second 11-3. Uh, we've got a good uh, list of umpires and officials online as well. Help us out, we're keen. Here we go. Match ball again. And look at the attitude there. <laughs> Eleven nine, the third. <laughs> we'll keep it up, folks, with your umpiring decisions from afar, and also uh, any comments on uh, Zach Miller. And uh, give it a little bit of attitude there. Nothing wrong with that. Particularly after he had the winning shot to actually win the third game, and he's now up two games to love. Zach Miller against uh, Joel Ascot. And it looks as though we have a completed game on the other court with... I'm thinking because it's hard to tell with Abby Palmer when she wins or loses. You don't really get that much emotion, but I'm fairly certain she just won that one against Abby Holmes. Uh, we'll let you know a little bit more once we get the score confirmed very shortly. A reminder that uh, the finals are from tomorrow. That is Sunday, 1.15 for the women's and 2 p.m. for the men's. Feel free to tune in or tell your friends. Come along anyway, there's plenty of parking, and that's a bonus for Auckland. Oh, nice reaction shot off the body. Now, Let's just see how this particular fourth game progresses. The first and third certainly a slow build up and then all over the show. Shot. <laughs> uh, some uh, good shot making coming out. Not always as consistent as uh, people would like, but it certainly is entertaining. And Scott Galloway saying that's uh, <laughs> Nick Meter's uh, squash coaching right there. <laughs> oh, it was almost a fake leap. And great positioning for Zach Miller at the front of the court, able to go anyway, and very difficult for Joel Ascott to retrieve. At least on a rainy weekend around the country, these two are providing some good entertainment. <laughs> Anyone want to describe that shot? <laughs> again, uh, Zach Miller, just a sly grin on his face. Yep, I did it again, folks. Did he get out of the way? Yes, Lee, that's all it is. Yeah, just a little. John Lascott looking for the stroke. There was a little clip of the well, back heel. Yeah, there was looking at a replay. It wasn't so bad. It was a little clip there as he was trying to get out of the way. 
Is it? And if it hits the Liquor Land sign, <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe you get a bonus with Liquor Land, but I don't know if that's really what you should be doing. It seems to be above the red line. So, nice question there from Michael Dunstan. on the shot was certainly on the buzz there but just a bit too tight in response to Michael Dunstan and hitting the liquor land sign perhaps they should put that under the red line under the court line <coughs> and then you could hit it and win uh, the bottle of your choice I'm not sure if that's legal but uh, it's a good suggestion for a promotion Certainly this four-point buffer, it's going to be very handy. However, this is when Joel Ascot just seems to get angry at himself or anybody and seems to start playing better. Ooh. Nice play from uh, Joel Ascot. This is, uh, was picked up cleanly by Zach Miller. We thought there would be a question there, but it looked a clean pickup. Obviously on the court, you see things so totally different. Oh, great play. Really great play from uh, both players, certainly the ret retrieving and uh, then in the end uh, from Zach Miller, just to be able to take the racket under the ball to give no pace back. Good squash there from both players, but in the end, Zach Miller just keeps on extending his lead. Eight to. It's too far away. And I think uh, Zach Miller, maybe uh, he's using a few strokes from a lot of different players and a lot of different coaches at the moment. I certainly think some coaches would be very proud. Squeeze. Uh, that's it for that one, though. Didn't quite work. jammed up against the wall and uh, the racket of Joel Lars got really jammed up against the wall as well. You can see Amanda Landers Murphy just warming up so she'll be going on the court very shortly against Diana Galloway on the second court. I think this will be a lot of fun for Diana Galloway. In the meantime though we are up to match ball. The first game was 13-11 to Zach Miller. Second was 11-3 Joel Ascot and third one there he goes plays it away no matter what and well played there for Zach Miller comes through in four games goes through to the semi-finals where he'll take on Luamba Chalisi so well done there to Zach Miller from the Waikato and uh, I think that ball that Joel Ascot hit he actually hit it through the roof